What's up everyone? Phil back again. Another video here on my channel. I did this one up over this past yesterday and today. It's a D21 that they released back in the, probably around 30 years ago, early 90s. Um, showing a picture of it now. And I uh, had some tools on it and stuff. Wanted to play around with one of them, been wanting to do that, but these aren't a cheap expedition anymore. The, this tractor now is, you find one. Um, I originally had the fat tires and the three ribs on the front. And that was it. If you, but if you find one, um, it's around hundred bucks. I think I paid right at a hundred on for this one shipped. Bought it from somebody online. So they're not a cheap expedition to do one of these anymore and really none of it is it's getting higher i went to the show yesterday and stuff's getting way higher unfortunately but uh it's pretty cool the real tractor alice chalmers d21 produced between 1963 through 69 it's right at just over 100 horse i believe um it's my favorite design alice chalmers wise just look and design wise it's still my favorite followed closely by the 210 220 look um but i love these design and look of this tractor it's pretty awesome pretty amazing tractor um as i said this was a single wheel tractor and all that and i had this old school i think that's i actually an ih type hitch but i liked it because it's old school and wanted to put it on this tractor I added that little ac decal on the fenders here the lights the flasher and the work light added those the rest of the driver station there is as is out of the box from the factory did not alter that in any way classic alice chalmers hood here my muffler still loose and the muffler on the original tractor was black and i uh, put on a chrome muffler there Always did like their decaling the cream white. Nice hood and everything. Pretty cool. The uh, engine details really aren't that bad on this tractor. You consider its age and all that. It ain't too bad. Stamped their Ertl on the frame. But as I said, I added this muffler. It is, it's just kind of setting in there. It's not really secured. But there was a black plastic muffler there and I added that metal one. Got a classic uh, D21 grill stylings there. AC logo up here. White screen. Uh, imitation weights there on the front of it. Underneath of the tractor. Tires and wheels of course. These are the original tires on the outer part. That were on it and i added the inners to the dual spaced them out real nice painted the spacer orange alice orange nice spacing i think on them nice that big fat traditional tire and then the uh, weight on the rear of silver tipped the bolts heads with silver paint there the outer two tires here i did black front wheel is a front wheel assist wheels that i got off of a guy i don't even know what they came off of to be honest they don't look too bad and then the wheel i painted ih white everybody says that you can use ih white for the paint and i painted this cap orange alice orange it's not too bad i have a little replica there um I like it. I know it's got a lean back going on there, but I don't mind that at all. I, I think it uh, it looks pretty neat overall myself. All right, I'll try to do a quick comparison. Let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. My D21 Custom alongside a 1568 Custom I did. So these both have been altered from their original state. They don't look too bad side by side, though. 
that lean back on that D21, it's pretty dramatic, but I, I don't mind it myself. I think it's, it looks pretty cool. All right, I move on to some quick final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. Ertl 116 scale, Alice Chalmers D21, customized. I like spending the time. It's, this has become like one of my main hobbies is working on some of these and just playing around and doing stuff to them. It's fun to have fun with it. I, I like to have fun with it. Like, I don't get too serious about you know, if it matches the real tractor or not, I, I just like to have fun, to be honest. I don't, I think it's about having fun and being unique. And to me, that's why the word custom falls into play. So I think it turned out pretty well. I like it myself. All right, everybody, I'll close out my video. I want to thank everybody that tunes in. This is Phil. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.